Hey everyone, welcome back to Fancy Gi. Today we're gonna continue what we started last video and we're gonna start distributing our packages, shall we? So whenever someone gets along here into the into their terminal and just run pip install, install fancy wallet, wallet. They're not gonna get this error, but rather they're gonna have something like when it happens when I try to install fancy docket, another package from me, it just installs it all fine. I've already, I have already installed, so you're not going to see anything new in here. So going back to our um, YAML pipeline, so our uh, act GitHub action or workflow, you're going to see that we only have now the build portion of it that ensures that we have all of our unit tests passing. So what we need to do here is actually add another job. So I'm going to just steal it out from here and just let's just call it a release because we're going to be releasing it to the outside world <laughs> and i'm going to add another uh entry here which is needs so it needs to run build first to be able to run release so this is just to ensure that we're going to build first before we get to release simple as that also from the steps we still need to check out our code we still need to set up python but we do not need we don't need to run those things in here. So what we can do now is use something different. So remember when I said last video that you could just you know uh, Google some GitHub actions that could do stuff for you. Well, guess what? This is what we're gonna be using today. So uh, there are two GitHub actions that I'm gonna show you today, uh, and you can search for your own. It's it's great to do your own due diligence into what you're going to be using but i do love this casper dcl deploy pypi uh, action which all that it does is actually using twine and uh getting the wheel if you don't understand what that means all that it's doing is just building the package for distribution and then pushing it to pypi using a tool that already does it so instead of doing all that by hand all i'm going to be doing here is actually just you know stealing what Casper already did for us. <laughs> um, it's not stealing, he's sharing it with us, of course. Um, he also does a little bit of a uh, check here when we want to upload. I'm not going to use this, this example that he, he's doing in here, I'm going to use another one. But all we have to understand here is that it is expecting us to pass a PYPI token, which we're going to create, and it runs a pip uh, wheel distribution um, uh, install of the package to actually distribute that's that's what it does really so let's copy that over and let's add that to our pipeline and that should be it to actually distribute why do i say that it should, that should be it because if we go back here in setup.py it already gives us the name of the package which is the one that is going to be used to distribute uh whenever installing using pypi um that should be fine, a fancy wallet like that. Perfect. So, uh, but it does reference here using the dollar sign and the double curly brackets, a secret called PYPI token. So we have to create that one beforehand. So let's go into PYPI. You're going to log in or create your account and you're going to see that I don't have that project of fancy wallet yet. Uh, don't worry about it. So what we can do we can create a token here for the entire account. This is gonna be temporary. Don't do that for, for your, your project later on. So the way that you would do that, you would actually create a new token in here. As you can see, I do it a lot. So let's add a token. This is gonna be a temp token, temp fancy wallet. So this is just temporary. And the scope is for the entire account. So yeah, it give, gives me all kinds of warnings <laughs> that is expected. So when I add that token, don't worry, you can use that token. I'm going to revoke that <laughs> once I finish my this video. So it, it's fine to show you guys, but this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do here is inside a fancy wallet on GitHub, I am going to go to settings and go to secrets and in here, I'm going to create a new repository secret and it's going to be called from our pipeline PYPI token. So this is the name PYPI token. And then we just put the value right here. That's all you have to do. So now that we have a token here, 
that is already set. Uh, this action here, this is <laughs> well, it's, it is an action. It's going to be able to just grab our token, authenticate against PYPI, and then push our package for the first time. You're going to see how simple that is, actually. So let's uh, just grab out our uh, our git repo. So here it's just doing the release of it. Let's commit that releasing. And one thing that we have to note is that we have to make sure that the version is the one that we want to be distributing, right? So this is the version that is going to be using for it. All right, cool. So if we just push that out to GitHub, now we are going to have a new action running here soon enough. Remember our broken tests, eh? <laughs> Fun times. So now, now that it's releasing, first it's going to try to run build. And this is because we said that release needs build. So it does that relationship. So it's going to try to build. It's going to try to run the tests that we defined before. And soon enough, very good, very good. All right. It's going to try, it's going to run the build and now the release. So if we just wait for a little while here, setting up the job, rolling the drums. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that takes a little while, eh? What is it doing? Ah, oh, right. So it is actually running the the um, deployment. So it is going to create a wheel. There we go. That was it. So if we go back to my projects now, fancy wallets here. So if we try to install it, so pip install fancy wallet, guess what? It's going to fetch that out from PYPI. So it's now distributable. Um, everyone now that sees my YouTube videos, all of you guys, you can all download my fancy wallet CLI. Now, this is just the simple video here to add a couple some information for you guys to actually see how that works and in the next video i'm going to show you how to, you can actually uh ensure that wh whenever you you're publishing something in pypi you also have a release on github so people can actually see what you've done all right cool thank you everyone see you in the next one <laughs>